Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside Mrs. Thatcher's War, The Falklands 1982. This is from White Dog Games, and apparently it's banned in Argentina. Don't know if that's true or a marketing tactic, but it's probably not there, and they probably wouldn't want it anyway. Uh, it's an interesting game in that it was offered with two covers. Uh, this is the Tim Allen cover, not from Home Improvement. Um, but uh, there was also a... Um, a cover from uh, artist Mike Murphin. Uh, apparently this one has won out. The other one's uh, pretty interesting. Um, I, I like the more sedate sedate version here. Uh, here you have the lovely Mrs. Thatcher, uh, the Iron Lady, one of the two great leaders of the uh, later Cold War, along with, of course, uh, Ronald Reagan. Well, that's quite an honor. One interesting note is that this one came with an extra map in a bag. So I'm not sure what the story is behind that. Normally, um, I try to go into these blind and not read about what's inside or any commentary, things like that. Uh, one thing I did look up, because I want to make sure that there wasn't some like known uh, issue, and apparently uh, there's not. This was just a, an extra copy that was sent along. Um, interesting, I don't know. Uh, but we'll compare them. If it's in there, maybe it's not in there. We'll find out. So. Crack the shrink. This is a solitaire uh, war game, obviously about the Falkland War in 82. Um, solitaire suitability is a 9 out of 9. Complexity is a 4 out of 9, says it plays in 1 to 3 hours. Um, uh, again, very nice art. The other box is nice too, if you choose that one. Uh, let's see what we got here. Start out with a... Well, we've got a die. Nice big green die. Works. No batteries required. And then we have things kind of like lumped together. So you unbox everything to unbox nothing. So obviously it's a smaller company. So this is uh, self assembled. You can see this here. The paper comes up. Well, it's not a big deal. Not a complaint. Just an observation. It's like the glue didn't set. I know they were deluged with orders. And since I have not opened it, I'm just going to give that a nice press down real quick. Just a little. Keep it shaped. All right. So everything is obviously in this pack, so we're going to have to kind of do a reverse unboxing. Pull this here. All right. So you get the first map. A large area of the island. Um, I'm not sure why the title is what it is. This is Thatcher's War. That always seems to be used in a derogatory term. And obviously this was a, a British war. But it's kind of like on the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln's War. Um, or, uh, you know, the Revolution, George Washington's War. And no one would do that. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's supposed to be an insult. Or if it actually has some meaning. I, I looked it up, and I believe I only found that phrase in a history book as a chapter title. So, uh, I don't think it has any historical merit that I could find. So, nevertheless, this is one of the maps, because I assume this other one is part of the game too. Very nice. Um, seems to be well registered. Uh, no border, no whites showing. Uh, it's a thick, glossy uh, paper, not really a cardstock. You could easily probably play this though without uh, um, plexiglass, which is always good. Mounted maps are the best. But being able to not use plexi is always good. So we've got the counters. These are the white dog always does really thick, uh, sturdy counters. I don't believe that they're they're laser cut like the good VPG ones. I think they're a different cut. But let's just take a look. See if they're sooty. No, they're not. They're but they're very nice and thick. Probably a little over an eighth of an inch, maybe. Good quality. You don't have to round them. They punch very cleanly. See, they just kind of come right out. So, uh, nice solid. You just take all the way out. Because they just come out very easily, separate very easily. Get some nibs here on the side instead of the corners. So, you, they're a lot harder to, to trim there, but they're a lot less necessary to trim, I've found, if they're on the side. So, um, registration's pretty good. A little bit right up against the edge, but uh, like here, you can see patrol. A little rectangles off shifted. Everything's kind of off shifted a little bit to the right, but not a big deal. 
not a big deal at all. Um, cool. So, this is the counters. You get one, which essentially equates to a half sheet of counters. So, we'll throw that there. I've got our rule book. Also, on this glossy uh, paper, full color, 16 page rule book. Looks like there's some historical notes in here as well. Right, very dense though. These are yeah, it's notes, I guess, about headlines uh, in the game. So while it's while this color and here it looks like it's gonna be nice and nice and uh, well, you know some good white space and stuff when you open it up. It is a little dense. I'm not sure how how dense I am, if I understand it, but uh, but the uh, content is pretty uh, a lot of black, a lot less white space. So. Not a lot of pictures for examples of play. There's pictures for uh, color commentary, but uh, there's going to be a lot of gameplay example photos or drawings. So, anyway, Songs of the Falklands War. Interesting little note here. The British Wars trilogy was Don't Tread on Me, Napoleonic Wars, and Mrs. Thatcher's War. Um, so, I don't know, maybe it's a compliment like Napoleonic Wars. Thatcherionic War. So, Songs of Falcon's War from April to June 82 took place during the memorable transition, transition period in popular music. ABBA was still barely on the charts. Duran Duran had just arrived. I chose my own list of popular songs. So here we go. Oh, Vangelis Chariots of Fire. Still lingering on the charts since 81. One of the best movie themes ever. Chariots of Fire. So. All right, so we got a rule book, we got charts and tables, single sheet, single sided. That makes it easy. I guess this goes on the uh, table because it's got a discard pile. So again, kind of a gloss coated uh, paper. And then we've got this map here, which is the one we got here, and. I am looking, and I don't see Waldo anywhere. So they obviously just sent a second one. I'm wondering if maybe they think they forgot to include them in some, and rather than reopen them and re-shrink wrap them, they just stuck an extra one in a baggie because it was cheaper that way than to go through the hassle of shrink wrapping, which is not an easy task. Used to do that a lot, but it's not fun. We've got a player aid card, also on glossy stock, that is in. Uh, black and white, uh, sequence of play, air battle results, and uh, the news headlines table, which again gives you the, they were in the back of the rule book there, it kind of give you more information about the headlines. So. All right, so going through the box, Mrs. Thatcher's War, you're going to get one chart, you're going to get a sideboard map, and a main map, game board. All right, get charts and tables. This also goes on the table. Uh, you know, obviously flat on the table. It's not a reference card. 16-page um, rule book and one sheet. But very nicely cut, very thick, very quality counters. Throw those up there. One die and the cover of your choosing. That is everything you're going to get Mrs. Thatcher's War from White Dog Games. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>